हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग द एजेंडा ऑफ दिस क्लास टू एक्सप्लेन द मेजरमेंट कंसेप्ट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मेजरमेंट की कंट्रीब्यूटर्स इन मेजरमेंट मेट्राइसिस की मेट्राइसिस मेट्राइसिस प्लानिंग मेट्राइसिस रिपोर्टिंग एंड एनालिसिस मेट्राइसिस मॉनिटर कॉस्ट ऑफ क्वालिटी रूट कॉज एनालिसिस क्वालिटी ऑफ गुड कोड टेस्ट केस डेफिनेशन वॉट इज मेजरमेंट ए मेजरमेंट प्रोवाइड ए क्वान्टिटी इंडिकेशन ऑफ द एक्सटेंट डायमेंशन अमाउंट कैपेसिटी और साइज ऑफ सम एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्रोसेस वाई वी नीड मेजरमेंट अनलेस ए प्रोसेस इज डिफाइंड इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज and unless a process is measured it is difficult to control unless a process is controlled it is difficult to predict the outcome unless a process is defined measured and controlled it is difficult to improve means if you want to control and improve the process you have to you need to measure why measure no quality of the productivity levels current work status key area need to focus precautions required uncontrolled situation what are the key contributors in the measurement everybody have its own objective for the measurement like for top management set organization wise goal benchmarking against the industry standard performance across unit project manager setting project goals estimation process improvement quantitative measure to project progress tracking and control for customer monitor progress monitor quality work monitor deadline monitor quality of the product what is matrices matrices is a quantitative measure of the degree to which a system component or process a given attribute like schedule variance effort variance defect density defect removal efficiency productivity key matrices base measure like size effort schedule defects how to calculate test effectiveness test effectiveness equal to weighted defects detected by all testing done by team divided by weighted defects detected by testing team plus customer effort variance actual efforts minus planned efforts divided by planned efforts for example when the testing started the efforts will be calculate before started the testing that is a planned efforts and actual efforts taken by the team to test the product or application that is actual efforts and if you want to know the effort variance what is the effort variance then actual efforts minus planned efforts divided by planned efforts that calculate the effort variance productivity productivity equal to size in ftp or tcp divided by efforts that is productivity how to calculate defect density in size weighted defects detected by customer testing and production divided by size that is defect density 
by size. Defect density by effort equal to weighted defects detected by customer testing and production divided by effort that is defect density effort by. What is matrices planning by project? During project planning phase, project manager has clearly document and communicate the plan for basic matrices like identify what to collect, unit for the matrices, when to collect, tool or format in which to collect, orient the project team. Every project has to also define target USL and LSL for each of the metric based on organization benchmark or customer specified baseline. Matrices reporting and analysis. What is matrices reporting and analysis? Data collection for all plant measure is performed and reported regularly using appropriate maybe its release wise or its monthly. If there is a customer requirement for certain matrices, those should be reported by the project at the frequency or phase specified. Project manager analyze the project performance using the data collect with respect to the project goal and it is required to do a casual analysis for any deviation and document and take necessary corrective and preventive action. Matrices reports are then submitted to quality manager after review by a concern authority. Quality control to review all the matrices reports received from project and submit approved report to matrices champion. What is matrices monitor show? Performance the process. Variation in the process. Action to be taken for minimizing variation. Determination of capability bands. How to calculate the cost of quality? Cost of quality equal to prevention cost plus appraisal cost plus failure cost. What is prevention cost? Prevention cost equal to process related training, DP efforts. What is appraisal cost? Appraisal cost equal to review, inspection, effort, testing, audit that is appraisal cost. What is failure cost? Rework cost like fixing review, testing defect and customer reported defects that is failure cost. Means cost of quality is sum of prevention cost plus appraisal cost plus failure cost. What is the root cause analysis? Root cause analysis is a method that is used to address a problem or non-conformance in order to get the root cause. It is used so we can correct or eliminate the cause and prevent the problem from recurring. Root cause analysis is systematic approach to get the true root cause of our process problems. For a particular product problem, root cause is, is the factor that when you, for example, defect found at the stage of code, defect found as, at the stage of documentation review, or defect found at the stage of coding, or defect found at the uh, stage of testing, or at the stage of production, or pre-production. For example, if the defect found at the document at the time of documentation review, then cost is one dollar. If defect is found at the coating stage, then it's ten dollar. And if defect is found at the time of testing, then it hundred dollar. The defect is found at, at the pre-production environment, then hundred thousand dollar. And at a time a defect found at the time of production environment, then the cost of ten thousand dollar. What is the impact? If defect found at documentation review, 
that is minor if defect found at the time of coding then impact will be major at if defect is found at that stage of testing then it's uh, it's required rework if defect is found at the pre-production then it's required significant rework and defect is found at the production then impact will be warranty cost as well as admin cost and spoil the reputation how do we do the root cause analysis root cause analysis is asking why the problem occurred and then continuing to ask why that happened until we reach the fundamental process element that failed fishbone diagram using a fishbone fishbone diagram while brainstorming possible cause helps you to focus various possibilities for example problem statement we have recharged the voucher but we are unable to see the dish tv verify the complaint customer care person check the status investigation why customer taken wrong recharge as there must be minimum balance required what are qualities of good code minimize or eliminate use of global variable use descriptive function and methods name use both upper and lower case avoid abbreviation consistent naming convention function and method size should be minimized less than 100 lines of code is good less than 50 lines is preferable function description should be clearly spelled out in comments preceding a function code organize code for readability use wide space generously vertical and horizontally each line of code should contain seven character maximum one code statement per line coding style should be consistent throughout a program like use of bracket intention naming convention make extensive use of the error handling procedure and status and error logging no matter how small an application should include documentation of the overall program function and flow what is test case a test case is a document that describe an input action or event an expected response to determine if a feature of an application in working correctly a test case should contain particular such as test case identifier test case name objective test condition setup input data requirement steps and expected results process of developing test case can help find problems in the requirement or design of an application since it require completely thinking through the operation of the application thanks